Yeah. And open myself up to working a lot. What are some of the bad decisions sure. you made with your money? Um, I think I, I got to a point where I was just trying to be the cool kid. Ah. You know, um, trying to own what everyone else owns. Never ends well. To, it never ends well, man. You know, I had to, I had to learn to be content yeah. with just being Mutidis. Yeah. And, and, but you see, that's why I say like. Going back home. Mm, mm. Can't derive your identity from. The outside things Yeah it's nice to have things But if they end up Defining who you are If you're MacGyver Just because you drive this thing mm. And it makes You know Then then you're gonna have problems And I, I did And I think going back home Made me realize Like the important things mm. You know I really had to scale down Like do I really need this Do I really need that The only thing I'm really glad about Is buying um, my property When yeah. I did in yeah. 2014 and, and not selling Yeah out of desperation yeah. I'm glad And mm. continued paying The bond And all of that stuff mm. You know But everything else Had to be cut down Yeah Yeah Isn't it crazy how Like you're saying You're surrounded With so much celebrity And all this stuff And all you wanted to be Was an accountant um, How come you never Fell into the Celebrity life trap For lack of a better word <sighs> It's just it's not for me, man. Mm. And when you know, you know. Isn't it? You just. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. I'm just. I'm not about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm really just not about it. And I, I think I was really lucky to have good people around me mm. that would be like, no, that's not. Did you really you know what the industry is like before you got into it? Or no, you learned no, no, on the no, go. No, it was, yeah, it was on the go training there. Because yeah. I kind of knew the people that I really liked. And then you meet them and it's like, some of them you meet and you're like, ugh. Yeah. And some of them you meet and you're like, you're, you're not even what I had in mind, mind, you know. You're so... Sometimes you get disappointed. Yeah, but sometimes you get really blown away. They're not, they're not celebrity according to the definition you had in your mind. They're not these far away um, images. They are normal people mm. with great thoughts who have time to speak to <clears throat> you and impart on your life, mm. you know. Yeah, I just... I just I, friend, mm. you know. Yeah, I, I never yeah. got into it. I never, mm. I never got into it, yeah. yeah. Drugs, none of that shit. And for what? Oh. No. You don't even know what cocaine looks like. No, no, mm. no, no, no. I knew long time ago that if I'm going to be buying Skittles every day <laughs> for a month, <laughs> I can't possibly be trying my hand at anything else. <laughs> because because I, I'm, I'm really about routine. Like you said, in my earlier life, I was all about structure. Still am even now. So I knew like, I can't try that. <laughs> You know, <laughs> no, bruh. Uh, we just was drink l- 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 and party. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Drink we did. Yo. Yeah. Uh, yeah. L- let's talk about your love life. Why? I don't know much. I don't know much about it, man. Why? No, we don't have to talk about that. You, you are very fascinating in terms of like. There's a lot of guys at Y who all we all wanted you, but you just had this thing of don't fuck with me. You know. What are these rumors? <laughs> I had that face. I had yeah. my father's face. Yeah, yeah. You just had this thing like you gotta know your shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Don't come here and try yeah. funny things. You must know your shit. Yeah. Am I right yeah. in saying that? Yeah. No, no spot on. Ne. Spot on. Yeah, yeah. No, I played far away. But it's, I just had my mind on other things. Yeah. Yeah. Have you been heartbroken? Yes. No way, CD. Yes. Why would anyone want to break your heart? No, chief, heartbreak it doesn't matter. Yo. <laughs> Hey, everybody gets their hearts broken. Who is Munsirisi? No, I've got my heart broken. Bad. Bad, yeah. bad. Yeah, it took me a long time to recover. You're one of those that take a long, a while. Yeah, that that one I took a while. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So God forbid I break your heart. No, I, I, I would need to distance myself from it. <laughs> <laughs> a big fat distance. How do we get back on our feet? Are you the one, are you the type of girl where you want to party a lot or be with other guys or you just want to be no. by yourself in your own space? The, the, the last one, I mm. want to be by myself and in my own space. I think I just overthink what happened too much. Do you blame yourself? I, yeah. I used to spend too much time doing that, you know. So moving on would take even longer because I'm just like, what's wrong with me? What was me? Wah, wah, wah. Like a big mm. p- pity party. Mm. And uh, I try not to do that now. You know, what's happened has happened. What did we learn? Uh, what do we still need to learn? What do we need to do better? You know, because cause it's a, it's a, it's a two-way street. It's a two-way exchange. And, 
yeah, sometimes a breakup is because of the other. It's the other person's fault. But yeah. you can learn. Yeah. From that scenario, what are you? So how how maybe not avoid, but how do you deal with it better next time? How do you spot? This kind of person mm. in the next person, mm. you know, or these kind of traits in the next person. Yeah. yeah. What so is I've your type? I've gotten a then? lot smarter. Do I have a type? Yeah, I know it's not Lynn. <laughs> I just. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get daggers for that. Okay. <laughs> I like. Um, I used to date short guys. Short I guys. <laughs> I don't do that anymore. <laughs> My like, woman's into short guys. Really? It's crazy. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. I just, the height didn't matter for me. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it does at all. But like, I just want to feel. I, I like people that make me feel like I'm I'm home. Okay. Yeah. Like nothing is forced. It's mm. just. It's easy. Mm. Flow. Do I have to splurge on you? Because you you're independent. You don't care. Nah, I don't like stuff. I don't yeah. like spend money on stuff yeah. per se. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So probably not. But I I love experiences. So dinner, Same Same travel. Yeah. Oh, travel is amazing. Yes, those are the things that I spend money on. Coolest so. place you've been to, man? Sure. Um, Barcelona. Barcelona. Barcelona is beautiful. It's a pity we left. Uh, we flew out the day that they were gonna, but they were gonna play Malaga. But I would mm. still have gone to the to camp the, yeah. to watch them play, you know. So I haven't watched them play at Camp Nou, but I I did catch the El Clasico at the at the Bernabeu. You fucking kidding? Yeah, my friend. You kidding? Worth me. every cent. Oh. Worth every single cent. I'm like like we we love football here mm. in South Africa. But the way the Europeans do it, it's just, it's just, it's, it's literally on another level. I mean, the stadium, maybe 15 minutes before kickoff, there's barely 50 seats open. Wow. Everybody is seated. I mean, when the teams are warming up, it's, it's already, a, it's pandemonium. And at the Bernabeu, it's just white. It's just white. Like a cluster of Barcelona fans there. I ended up with Real Madrid fans as yeah. well. So like I'm in between the white. I was like, hey, I'm not even going to get dressed and put my hoodie on because I don't want any drama. But it was it's it's worth every cent. That kind of experience, it was incredible. So it was incredible. Genius. And I was lucky to go back to Madrid last year uh, to watch the Champions League final when Liverpool won. Damn. You speak about Madrid like it's Alex. <laughs> no, but it can be done. Hey. It can be done, Fred. Oh, Fred. Ish. Must save it. <laughs> must save a lot. You must. You must. You, you, you gotta cut out a lot. Like your your money needs. You need to have a plan for your money. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like every cent must be accounted for. I think that's where my my accounting brain and my budgeting brain mm. kind of has put me in good stead mm. over the years. Even though I'm a freelancer, and especially after my 2016 experience, I've really learned how to. How to make sure that I'm okay for a rainy day, mm. but still be able to do things like the experiences that I love, including mm. travel. Yeah. yeah. Are we planning on having kids anytime soon? Yeah. Oh, you lie. Not anytime soon, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. Are yeah. you working on it? I'd love to get married first. Yes, yes. You know? Yeah, I'm traditional like that. I, I would. Yeah. Um, but I would love to have twins, eh? Mm. Yeah, I don't want people to put me off of my, my dream. I want to have twins. Yeah. I want to do it once. Yeah. And be done. Yeah. Yeah. So. And career wise, I feel like you're just getting started, man. Really? Mm. Yeah. I just, I, I want to be amongst the best to ever do it, you know, <sighs> radio and television. I want people to, to watch or listen and be entertained, but to be educated and informed, not necessarily because of me, but because of what I bring to the table, the questions that I ask, the things that I get out of the analysts. I want you to walk away feeling like, you've learned something mm. or you've experienced something, you know, like, like, like seasoned broadcasters do, man. You watch, you watch something or you listening, you listen to something and you're like, wow, mm. I don't know that. Mm. That's very interesting. That's, that's the kind of experience I want to bring to the table for people. Um, how was it like working with Julian, man? Because we, we, we worked with him at YFM yeah. and you got the pleasure to work with him at Massive yeah. as well. <laughs> the difference between Y and, and, and Massive is pretty huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. at, at Y we were still so young. Yeah. Remember, and he used to like stand at the studio door and bark something at Zwille <laughs> say something bad. Like, it was always pandemonium when he's around. And, <laughs> no, I remember much of just walking to the newsroom like, hey, hey, that's chilly. 
<laughs> What's happening on air? Like, hey, I don't know. Just just go in and do news. We, we're not going to pay attention to everything else. Um, but I appreciated him so much more working with him at Massive. Like, mm. he's just... He's such a maverick. He was way ahead of his time. Yep. He's like you. Didn't pay attention to rules. Mm. He just knew what made people tick mm. and what people wanted to listen to. You mm. know, still keeping with the theme of okay, this is my target audience, nan nan. But he just had a way about it mm. that was it's world class. Tell me a, a crazy like, chili story because everybody class. has one. Everybody has one. I don't know about crazy. I remember. <laughs> I remember <laughs> he was late for news, and I walked out of the uh, uh, of the news booth at Y. Yeah. Hey, fetch me! <laughs> yeah, and and you call me Ben Cheese back then. Yeah, I'm Ben Cheese. <laughs> Who the hell is supposed to film us five minutes off dead air? <laughs> what nonsense! What do you mean? You know, and I was, and I'm walking. I'm like, but I'm walking here. I'm like, I'm not even gonna stop and turn around and engage him. And I just saw my job. I come. You a ledge? What ledge for what? Ledge for what? Just one minute. Come on. <laughs> Yo, and like at the time, I think I was still so scared of him. Yeah, it's yeah, chilly. yeah, yeah, yeah. Chilly air, baby. Don't mess with this guy. Yeah. Um, but at massive, like he, it, 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 because of where we were both at in our careers, I just appreciated how he appreciated me mm. and how he appreciated my growth and what I brought to the table because. You know, we had put in so much work and he could see it and he could hear it. And like to get a compliment from Chile, yeah. like you got to work. Yeah. Hey? Yeah. You got to be really, really great. So yeah. what a loss, man. What right, a cool. loss. He still had so much to give. Let's have some fun. Um, we're going to play a game of uh, One Must Die. No? Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, let's start with. So this is top of my head. I didn't do any prep for you, by the way. Uh, <laughs> you know me too well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Twitter, Instagram. Ah, that's a tough one. Mm. Quite like the gram. Hello, how are you, sir? <laughs> we're recording, we're recording. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, primetime TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Twitter, Instagram. Uh, it would have to, because of the work that I do, I'd probably need Twitter more mm. than Instagram. I like them both. Mm. But if one must die, Instagram. How many followers you got on Instagram? 20,000. 20 only? Jim, come on. What do you mean? You got to show go. that. You got to show that bum bum. Then no. we skyrocket. <laughs> <laughs> A million no. in one day. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not going to hype. Okay. Organic growth. Type. Yeah, yeah. That's what we're after. Do, yeah. do you have trolls on Twitter? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like yeah. I'm lucky. I'm yeah. lucky that I don't. People generally like to engage, which which is fine, you know, as long as you're respectful. Um, I'm yeah. cool. Yeah. Why FM or Metro? Sure, that's hard. Yeah. Chief, those are both my employers. <laughs> <laughs> um I think why would always be a cut above just because that is really where I learned so much not just about the work but life mm. like why taught us about life man yeah, yeah. so eh, hard in metro yeah um what's it called nando's or muchachos oh muchachos hey. nando's guys yo it's a pity it's two million but yay ah, it still goes in it still goes in <laughs> ah, but muchachos slaps as well bro I'll give it another chance bro but yo nando's guys yeah Everything yeah. is amazing there. Yeah. Everything. Mm. Okay, cool. I got to think of another one now. Let's do cars. BMW or Mercedes? Hmm. One must die. One must uh, die. BMW must die. Yeah, BMW. I'll drive a Benz. <laughs> <laughs> when are we getting that Benz? When? When I'm not stingy, you know. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're an accountant. Yeah. Okay. Not because I'm an accountant, just because... Do I need it? The, the thing is, there's the I overthink the decision. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Do you think looking back, man? Um, cause sadly your dad passed away last year, ne? Mm. Do you think he'd September. be proud of you? Ah, he would have been. Mm. He would have been. No, it's so strange. Um, before before that final, like I was sitting, I was nervous. Like I I woke up, I was nervous. I got to work, the nerves were killing me. Doing makeup, changing. You know, going through everything with the team, like I was a ball of nerves. And, you know, I called my mom and I'm like, yo, ma, like, I can't. I'm too nervous. And she prayed, I asked her to pray for me. She prayed for me. And I'm like, the moment is just too big. And she's like, yeah, but it's 
that's why you're there, you know, because the moment is so big. And then I sat a while after speaking to her, thinking about my dad and my grand. I lost my grand in 2017. And I felt okay. I felt like they were there somehow. Mm. And I knew if if this was an ordinary day, I would have called him. Mm. And he would have been like, what? No, so what? You must be cool. Just relax. Just mm. relax. You know what you're doing. Because through it all, you know, um, failing, second year modules, um, you know, some of the slumps that I had in my life, uh, moving back home. He never, he never judged me, you know. He always knew that I was going to be on the come up again. I was going to turn it around again. And I think that's the voice I wanted to hear in that moment. So I was just so glad that in my heart of hearts, I knew that he was with me. Yeah, he would have, he would have been insanely, insanely proud. Yeah. So excited. So, so excited. Because I remember that. He watched <coughs> from somewhere else. Yeah, uh, From yeah. this plane that we are on. Yeah. Because yeah. I remember yeah. the last time I saw you, it was your, 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 your birthday party. Oh, what was My it? My 30th, yeah. 30th, yeah. Ne? Yeah. <coughs> and um, he was there. And we actually watched uh, Man United together, like yeah. you said. But during that whole ceremony, like, you could just see how proud mm. he was of you, you know. Mm. And I think that moment shouldn't go unnoticed or like, because... Most times we never get to share that moment with our parents, yeah. you know, to say yeah. I love you or to say I'm proud of yeah. you, you know. And I feel like you guys had that moment. Yeah, we definitely did. We definitely did. I think because I had a dad that was there from day one, yeah. you know, he he really was a super dad. He would, he was there when we were all born. He took us to school every day he would wake up and make us lunches mm. i mean there was a time when my mom was working overseas he was our parent mm. our mom and our dad he'd your, cook, your mom he'd was clean. Overseas. yeah hey, your he life was, has been soft eh? you know not, not really it's, it's hard eh? <laughs> it's 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 hey, hey life was soft eh? your mom's no, working overseas no no that was a hard time because hey mm. to be a to be a girl child without your 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 mom in the house is, it's weird i mean i was 11 so you think, you know, I wouldn't miss her as much, but that transition, you know, preteen into a teenager. And at the time she had been gone um, 11 to, she came back in the year, turned 16. So she was gone about three and a half years. Yeah. She'd come in uh, on leave mm. every eight months, I think it was. Mm. So it was a long time for her to be away. But my dad was just, my dad has always been there, you mm. know, and he's always pushed us I think me a little harder than my younger siblings mm. you know to be like you can achieve it you can do it you mm. were okay you got 80 that's great where's the 20 what wow. happened you know what happened in this test what are you not getting right um, <laughs> and when you're young it's like ah this guy give yeah, me a break yeah, you know yeah. I super strict I wasn't allowed to go to parties mm. and and you know be 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 a kid at a curfew like stand at the gate waiting for you damn Yo, like the Dumhono was strict. Little I'm gonna kiss. be east. They would know. <laughs> they knew. The <laughs> Don't bother with her. Don't bother with him and don't bother with his kids. Yeah. Because he's gonna come for you. Yeah. And he's gonna sort you out. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But but as you get older, you start to appreciate just what what that meant for your growth, what that meant um for your life. To have someone that is constantly in your ear about but you can do better. Mm. You're excellent. So mm. be excellent. Don't 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 be mediocre. Don't 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 half ass it. Mm. You know, come come as your best. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me, um a lot of females that I uh, that I um uh, I chat with mm. or chill with um always speak about inequality in mm. the workspace, especially corporate and you know, female empowerment. What's your take on it being on the broadcasting end of things? Yeah. It's not where it's supposed to be, but I think the the spaces and the people who run the spaces are s starting to be a lot more open to the idea of working with women. And I think I'm lucky. I'm in an era where there's a lot of women, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, both in front of camera and behind the scenes as well. And I also work in an establishment that promotes putting women at the helm. Mm. You know, Supersport is where you find a lot of women in front of camera and maybe my bosses get flagged for it elsewhere, but they certainly 
don't show it at the office, they are always like, no, you can do this. No, mm. she's completely capable. No, she can run this. Yes, she can do a World Cup. Yes, she can do Super Rugby. Mm. And they and they put you, then they fight for you to mm, be in those positions it? as well. Yeah, because there's no way I'm sitting there by my own religion. You mm. may have all the talent in the world, but you also, the, the, the thing that people don't speak about is favor. Mm. You know, there's got to be someone, sometimes there's really, does has to be, there has to be someone that's like, Put her on. Mm. And that's that on that, you know. And I'm And then you deliver. This. Yes. Mm. But but you've got to get the opportunity. Mm. The opportunity is is the first base. Mm. You've got to get the opportunity so that you can sit there and and deliver and so that they can see that, oh, I rise up or someone we didn't make mm. a mistake. This this is it. She's just as good as we thought she was. Mm. You know, and I wish um more spaces had opportunities and gave more opportunities to women because mm. nine times out of ten we do not disappoint yeah 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 yeah, yeah. we come out guns blazing and we are great and there are many of us mm. many of us and in terms of money are we making robert marawa money no <laughs> not yet <laughs> my friend not yet yeah 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 but you must know rob has been in the game for how long yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. so legend um i mean i'm in the kind of industry where the older you get the more value you bring to the table, the more the more knowledge you have, not just about the game, but in terms of how you broadcast, how you get information out of people. Because it's a, it, it seems easy, but it's an art to speak mm. to people like before a game where they are anxious, where tensions are heightened, where adrenaline is pumping and to, to, and to bring out the best in them, mm. you know. And I've been in it for eight years, putting in the hours, Eight years in television now, but ten years broadcasting altogether, and and this is when you start to see that oh snap, mm. that's where those ten thousand hours were going. That is mm. why she is so good. That's why she's getting the kind of recognition that she is getting. Mm. So so it's good. It's gonna come. I feel like this is the year though where I'm gonna just make bags. Like, Le- let's uh, hey, don't forget want, me. I'll take you out for coffee. <laughs> Because <laughs> I look back in my career, I'm like, shit, man. Because I love uh, sports, you know that, especially yeah, soccer. Yeah. I'm like, I should have maybe taken the sports route because you guys look like you're soft. It looks like once you're in there. But, but the. the but you'll I never hear sports money, broadcasters money, no, getting fired. No, 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 guys. It's hard. It's hard because a lot of us are freelancers in this game, mm. you know? Not, not just talent, like crew members, a lot of us are freelancers. So, so it's, it's soft because we have to do and make a lot of tweaks. There's a lot of sacrifices we need to make in between to make sure that financially we're okay. Oh. Yeah. You know, sometimes you have to work more than you like. Oh, yeah, to yeah, make, yeah. To make yeah. the book balance, yeah, you know, then yeah. you're missing out on family things and, mm, um, true. you know, you, you know, you look at um, one of my directors, AJ, was actually saying he's looking at family photos and it's like for there's a there's a period where he's nowhere. That's crazy. You know, because he's working. And it's a sacrifice. It's a sacrifice. Yes. Mm. So we'll get there financially. We'll, we'll be softer than others. <laughs> <laughs> Not completely soft, but softer than others. When but you got to do what you love, man. Yeah, you have yeah, to. The money will always come if mm. you're doing what you love and you're really good at it. you got to be really good at it. That's mm. guy man. Mm. Are you amazing at what you do? Mm. Are you putting in every ounce 10, of your energy ounce. into it? Are you showing passion? Are you growing your mind? Are you investing in this thing? That's when you create value and people will pay. Shit, that's right. People will pay for yeah. that for that which you have. Spoken like a CA. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Might so- just cut some corners for nine of ten. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when it's all said and done How do you want to be remembered? Ah, uh, I want people to Remember me Friend zone queen Yeah well <laughs> There's a list And then right at the bottom On page 101 <laughs> You shall me Yeah she friend zoned us You know <laughs> oh, I want people to I want people to remember me For my excellence I want people to remember me for not being the first, but opening the door and the platform up to other young girls and anyone else that wants to do really well in the space. Um, I want to be remembered for for just how amazing how good I am mm. at what I do. Mm. You know, I want my family to remember me for my good heart and my generosity. Mm. 
Because that's the stuff that really matters yeah. in the end, yeah. you know? Yeah. 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 But I, I just I want to be excellent, man. Mm. I want to be really, really good. Like mm. amongst the best to ever do it. Mm. If folks remember me like that, then I would have I would have done my job really mm. well. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, man. That's that's amazing. And I think you're well on your way doing that, you know? Thank you. I don't know. En route to world class. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so we're having twins. <clears throat> we had multi-choice super sport. Yes. We are doing Vision Radio. Vision View Sports Radio. Yes. yes. So I do the show 12 to 3. It's called The Sports Update. Vision View Sports Radio is online, by the way. Uh, so download the app, Vision View Sports Radio, mm. um, and listen out. We've got really, really great talent on this platform as well. And it's, it's just a space for me to speak about what I love every day. Yeah. You know, um, my show is segmented. So on Monday, it's a Rugby Monday. Tuesday, Cycling Tuesday. Wednesday, is Golf Wednesday. And Thursday, is Cricket Thursday. And those are the sports that we mainly focus on. But because it's also an update show, I'll give you updates on whatever's happening across the globe in sports. So you probably know more about sports than your man. No, no? not necessarily. No, <laughs> no. Sometimes I'm like, hey, who did what? <laughs> <laughs> when? <laughs> Why did I miss that? Yeah, yeah. yeah but but um, the the job also teaches you to have a teachable spirit. You know, yeah. you, you don't know everything because yeah. once you get to that point, you fucked. Yeah. yeah, cool. That's when things don't go well. So we're doing vision view. Where else are we at? That's it. Yeah. Yeah. No businesses. Not yet. Mm. Not yet. Um, I think I'm just in the establishing mm. phase. I want to make sure the foundation is really, really solid, yeah. so that when I do pursue other things, this is still my foundation. Mm. Yeah. Oh, what music are you vibing to now, bro? Bro, I listen to anything that's good. You know me. Like I can't even. Are you feeling the on Anything. Yeah, the Yanos are nice. Yeah. But I never know. I know like, I just hear it like, hey, that's nice. <laughs> that like, I can't be like, oh, it's, this is the artist, this is the name of the song. I, like, I can't get it. You know, I was getting Tato Mi Yang. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Our playlist is. <laughs> I'm just like, friend, send it all to me. <laughs> I'm loving the Yanos. Um, yeah. But you know me, I'll vibe to anything that's good. I used to love, I love house, I love quiet. I listen to a lot of old stuff. Like, I'm stuck in nostalgia. Yeah. <laughs> stuck in nostalgia. But I still love house. I still love anything mm. with a vocal on it. Mm. R and B. Last song you listen to? Romantic. Um, I'm vibing to the new Bongo Muffin. Bongo Muffin from Bongo with Love. Yo, oh, hey, that album is nice. Yeah. There's a song called Huya Huya. I don't know what it's about, <laughs> but yo, it hits me here, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm I'm loving it. Yeah. And and better must come. Uh, they have a song called Mama Wini as well. It's also really really dope. But seriously, I'd listen to anything yeah. that sounds amazing. What, what yeah. songs are, what are we playing in the bedroom when you're making love to your man? <sighs> yeah. Why are you personal? <laughs> <laughs> None of your business. Yes. So I'm sure Vuzi. No. <laughs> <laughs> is the music being played? Is the question. Actually, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Oh, man. Zidi, I love you a long time, man. I'm supposed to give you a t-shirt. It's in the car. But anyway, ah. I'll give you a t-shirt. No, you better not leave with, them, with my t-shirt. Yeah, I'll I want give a t-shirt. a t-shirt. Yeah. So, yeah. Please wear it. Um, next time you're in Super Sport, that'd be nice. I can't wear the thing on air. <laughs> I'll wear it on my show on radio. Yeah, yeah. And I can't just be like, hey, we got some hair. No, no, no. Thank you so no. much, TD. All the best. Thank you. For you know, uh, what I've always Thank loved you. about you is that, you know, I think... Jeez, I can't remember before your party. I hadn't seen you in years. Yeah, it had been a long time. It had eh? been a long time, but oh, it had been a long time. But you haven't changed. It yes. feels like you know we we're together at YFM last week. Yeah, and just catching up, you know. Yeah, I hope I'm just working on myself, being a better version of me all the time. Mm. I'm not perfect. Yeah. Um, but that's the premise of life, man. Yeah, it's all about to growth. just grow. Mm. Yeah, evolving. Mm. If you're stagnant, staying at one place, that's the then, problem. You know. That's the problem. Yeah, I really just wanna wanna be the best of me. But I I like I like who I am yeah. right now, yeah. um, and I have I'm in awe of the growth that I've had over the last few years, yeah. especially. Yeah, man, sky's the limit. Are you starting your own podcast? Remember, you saying. I want to, but. I, Conceptualizing Just do it really? you Conceptualize on the way No <laughs> You see the structure Is coming in now Because I don't want to Just wing it All the time yeah, But Yeah But Yeah Maybe I should just start Yeah Sports or something else Let me go think about that I think you shouldn't do sports 
You should Isn't do the CD, CD the person. Yeah. Really? Dude, you're very funny, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you say that because you love me. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Hmm. I think people... Let me think about yeah, it. Yeah, it'd be nice for people it. to see the other side of you. Because when it's time to get naughty, yeah, you can. Yeah. 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 Ah, maybe it's a signal. Hey, you know? Yeah. You need to turn right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because people will always love you for, for, for being a sports broadcaster. Yeah. But there's also another side to you that you can yeah. expose to people, you know? Something that you can't do on social media because it's 140 characters. 280 now. 280, whatever yeah. it is. You see, yeah. you're not on Twitter. <laughs> I can see. <laughs> anyway, TD. Yeah. Not a long it was time, lovely. man. It was lovely. Podcast and chill. Mutiri Simona, we are here. Boo. <laughs> Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko.